Friday night in Edmonton, Alberta, the Maximum Fighting Championship promotion will hold their second event of the year. Since the promotion began in 2001, the MFC continues to gain momentum in the Canadian mixed martial arts landscape. According to CEO Mark Pavlich, who recently was in Toronto for a promotional tour, the goal is quite simple. Being the number one show in the country is not enough for our family. Um, it's, it's a fantastic place to be in right now, but at the same time, is it's not where we're going to stay at. Um, our, our only goal is to be number two right now in the world. Um, number one right now is not realistic, but when we get to number two, that's we'll, you know, we'll settle in there and we'll, we'll figure it out once we get to that level. But right now I just, I, I'm just, it's agitated due to the fact that like, it's great to hear we're number one but in Canada, but th there's much more for us after that. Like every mixed martial arts fan, Pavlich has his eye on the Ontario market for possible events in the future, if the province can legalize the sport. Vancouver is a terrible market. I mean, it's great that that one show sold out in 30 minutes or 40 minutes, what they said they did. But it, overall, it's not a great sporting city. Ontario is all I'm concerned about right now. If I do a show in Vancouver, um, which could happen in the next year, um, it's not the same type of enthusiasm I have to coming to Ontario. We believe that our company should be the first MMA organization to do MMA in, in Toronto and in Ontario. Um, I think that the, the other organization that's trying to pitch Ontario to sanction it. I think their, their approach is um, not, it, it, I guess the word is inspiring enough for the political people to get really behind it. Um, we're the company that's not going to come in once a year. We're the company that's going to do 12 shows a year in Ontario. We're going to go from Windsor, Ontario, all the way up through Kingston, all the way up to Ottawa and all the way in between, right? So we're not going to just go, hey, we're here one show. We're going to be here 12 times a year. So that's the big difference that the Maximum Fighting Championship is trying to get across. With the influx of many new Canadian promotions, Pavlich isn't concerned about his promotion suffering and can give some advice on his keys to success. We crawled. We, we crawled so small all the way through doing this business, and that's the difference. We didn't, we didn't start off by going, oh, we're going to take down this show or this show. No, we started off by flying cars, you know, flyering cars and postering places. And that's how we started, right? And we consistently went up, you know, up and up and up. And that's the difference between what the Maximum Fighting Championship does and these other organizations. Just like in the United States, when you see other shows going, oh, we're going to compete against UFC, it's ridiculous. It's, it's absolutely suicide to try to do that type of thing. And it's the same thing in this country. When you hear other organizations, oh, we're going to take down the Maximum Fighting Championship, that's your biggest mistake. You should, you should just kind of crawl along and then you get into the walk mode and then, okay, we're going we're gonna to do a little jogging and then we'll go onward from there. 2010 will be a big year for the MFC, and according to Pavlich, they intend to get bigger and better. 2010 is you're going to just see is more exciting fight cards, and then you're going to see some growth as well in the Maximum Fighting Championship with going into new marketplaces. It's very important, regardless that we're on live, we're the only show live on television throughout the United States and Canada. We have to now go into new marketplaces to do live events. It's mandatory. We have no choice. It's, it's, the, it's the number one thing on our list to grow the brand higher and higher.